On this Ascension Day, I welcome you so warmly to the start of this year's Thy Kingdom Come. Around the world, millions of followers of Jesus Christ will make the focus of their prayers, that such simple prayer, come Holy Spirit. We long for the Spirit's refreshment, renewal, empowerment, for us as a church and for each of us as individuals. And so we pray in faith and we wait in hope and expectation. For Jesus promised that his Father would give the Spirit to those who asked without limit. And we see in our own history that those disciples who, obeyed, who witnessed the ascension obeyed Jesus' command to wait for the power from on high. So let us pray honestly, hopefully, faithfully, fervently, expectantly for the gift of God's very presence. We don't do this for ourselves or on our feelings or experience, but so that we might fulfill the calling of Jesus, that we might be his witnesses. Witnesses speak when they're asked what they've seen and heard, but they also live in the light of the truth they've experienced. This year at Thy Kingdom Come, you'll hear lots of talk of praying and living the kingdom. Of course we pray, but our prayer commits us to participate in what God is doing in the world. And of course, God's commitment is to more than building the church. It is bringing in his kingdom, the kingdom of God. And so, as well as praying, we find ways to demonstrate love, love in action, to care for those for whom we're praying, for our wider community, as inspired and guided by the Holy Spirit, as the Holy Spirit opens our eyes to see needs. This year, we've included a few ideas, a menu, of additional ways to pray. For instance, in our communities, let's raise our voices in praying the Lord's Prayer. We can pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. How might you pray and respond to needs in your local community in the ways of the kingdom that demonstrate the rule and presence of God? We're grateful to partner with our friends at Hope Together to produce this resource, to bear good news to those who are struggling to make ends meet. Why not donate or volunteer with your local food bank or cap centre or homeless shelter? What acts of generosity is God calling you to be involved in? You'll find the spirit there. You'll find a fresh falling of the spirit as you join in. In your workplace, we've teamed up with Transform Work to create resources to help you pray with other Christians in your workplace. Maybe you could pray for five people who work in a particular sector. Teachers, cleaners, medical staff, people who care for the homeless, whatever. The persecuted church. Could you pray for people daring to come to faith in hostile parts of the world? We've been working with Open Doors on a video, also have a prayer journal contribution from Hei Wu, a former North Korean prisoner. And for our children and young people, we've joined in with the Church of England's resources to enable churches to pray for more children and young people to become active disciples of Jesus, to find his love in their life and his call on their life. Thank you for all you will be involved in. And here's my prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, set our hearts on fire with the light of your love. Come and live your life in us for the sake of this world for which our Saviour Jesus Christ died. Renew us, revive us, empower us. For the glory of your name we pray. Amen.